These have got to be like my favorite backgrounds. R.I.P. Stan Lee. Hope you still got some cool cameos to show us, but I salute you with my backgrounds. Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man. They were my dudes growing up. Thanks for inventing them. Also, real quick, before we start the video, it's Veterans Day, so salute. Appreciate your service. Today's video is React versus Angular versus maybe a little bit of view in there for 2019 the year. Doesn't really matter, that's just, you know, this is the most recent research that I did to figure out what would be, you know, the best choice. And to TLDR this video is, depends on what you want to do. So let's jump right into it. There's a few criteria. We'll just be going section by section and I'll let you guys make the choice as to what you want to do. Start off with who made what, right? So Google obviously supports Angular and Facebook obviously supports React. Let's look at what languages they're written in. Angular is written in TypeScript now. React is written in JavaScript and Vue is also written in JavaScript. Vue was actually made by someone uh, like a former employee at Google. So he's not really a company, but that's where that one came from. So let's look at what's actually harder to code. Angular, the MVC, it's written in TypeScript. It has kind of this unintuitive link with the two-way binding and React is more of just a one-way flow. Um, I would say overall React is easier to pick up. So if you're picking one to start, you know, probably pick React. And if you still want it, I'd probably pick up Vue. So I did a Google trend search for Angular versus React versus Vue. And right now React is winning. Vue is catching up and then you have Angular. All right, now let's talk about the templating languages that Angular and React and Vue all use. So Angular uses HTML and pulls JavaScript into the HTML. React is just JavaScript and pulls HTML into the JavaScript. And then we have Vue, which is JavaScript again, pulled back into HTML. So React is the only one that just has a JSX file. You do it all in one file type. You have to learn JSX, right? So you have to learn the differences in the keywords like class. You can't use that anymore because that's a reserved word. In JavaScript, you have to type class name. For, you have to type HTML for, because that's a reserved word for for loops. React is all in one page, which can be easier for some people. However, let me show you an example of what a list of items looks like in Angular. And then let's look at a list of items in React and how you would code that. There's the, the code is a lot shorter in Angular. You just have an ng repeat and then there's all of your items. In React, you have a map and you have, um, you just have more code. You have to map out the individuals inside of that. You have to add the key and know about the keys and um, you don't have to do that inside of Angular. So the winner there in this specific scenario is Angular, but you gotta remember you have two different file types. So there's a little bit of, all right, let's look at the brands now. What like top companies out there or what maybe you'd find top is different, but let's look at some top companies that use React and use Angular. Let's look at Angular first. Angular's got HBO, Amazon, YouTube, and let's take a look at React. So React has Netflix, Facebook, Instagram, PayPal, Dropbox. So depending on what you think of those companies, Maybe that'll sway your influence a little bit here. All right, so this would be kind of like my general breakdown. And this, you know, there's a lot more features with Angular and React and Vue, and they all have different structures. But overall, I would say if you like more flexibility with libraries and frameworks, I would go with React. If you love coding in TypeScript, I would probably go with Angular because that's all Angular is. So if you don't know TypeScript, you better get learning if you want to use Angular. If you're a fan of super crisp, clean code, actually, I would probably use Vue. Uh, Vue actually looks pretty clean. If you want a separation of concerns, probably use Vue. If you're fond of object-oriented programming and object-oriented programming methodologies, then I'd probably go with Angular. If you want to focus on JavaScript, you really love JavaScript, I'd probably go with React. So then obviously you have like the specific brands that you like and you know how much you respect their decisions and their choices could play an emphasis on what your opinion is. Probably to get started, Vue, React, Angular, because Angular just has a huge learning curve because you're having to deal with controllers and models, which isn't even a thing really until you get to Redux. Oh, by the way, there used to be this argument with server-side rendering and React has server-side rendering, but actually Angular was updated to have server-side rendering and Angular can now do you know, native, run on native devices, so mobile devices, kind of like React Native. Um, so Angular's catching up. It just has a lot more features in it. If I were to boil it down, even, you know, between those technical aspects, I would say it doesn't matter. Pick what works for your company, be agnostic to the language. Most likely you're gonna have to learn something else in a couple of years or something that adds on to a framework or they might just redo the entire framework. Uh, for example, Angular 
The original OG Angular was kind of scrapped. People didn't like Angular because it was redundant, and so they scrapped it and they redid it, like, entirely. And now Google doesn't even support it, so now there's a whole bunch of Angular jobs out there converting old Angular to new Angular. That could happen to any of these libraries or frameworks. You know, so choose what works for you, what you like learning. If you learn an MVC, it's going to take you a little bit further, because you're going to be able to convert MVC knowledge to, to different frameworks in other languages. So Ruby has Ruby on Rails, PHP has the LAMP stack, whereas if you just have these front-end libraries like Vue and React, you're just going to be learning those, unless you really dive deep into Redux, and then maybe you could figure that out. I would just not pick one. If I didn't have to pick one, I'd be like, all right, what are we using? Let's try this out. Let's see if this is fun. Let's see if this makes sense to me. And then that's what I would go with. And I always say that I'm passionate about technology, not about a specific language, because that changes all the time. Uh, a lot of this stuff didn't exist. When was Facebook? 2014-ish? That's like five years old. And right now it's really good. And according to Google Trends, it's going to be pretty good. But we also have view which is moving up if you look at the the data trends just because it's easier to grasp and this might you know might help more junior developers get into you get into view and then you move on to react and you move on to nvc whether that's angular or some other language that's that's up to you again just stay passionate about technology keep hacking on things I hope again i hope this video is helpful and if you like it hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button shout out to all the patrons that support the channel i appreciate each and every one of you i couldn't do this without you guys. And I'm always looking for feedback on my website, so if you want to go check out my website, grindreel.com. I'm currently working on that, trying to make that like a one-stop shop resource for, for knowledge like this, where you can just go and you can read about this and I'll have a video to complement it. So that's my end goal. It just takes a lot of work when you're doing the marketing and the, when you're doing the coding, when you're doing development, when you're doing the bug fixing, when you're doing the content, when you're editing the content, when you're teaching students code, when you're managing a Discord community, when you're doing a live stream, when you're creating thumbnails, when you're creating merch. Um, just a lot to do. I don't think that scratches the surface. I'm not complaining. This is what I wanted. This is what I enjoy. Everything that you guys do helps me and I appreciate each and every one of you. So you guys are awesome. So I'll leave you with this motivational quote for today. I read it in a book here. You know, if you plan your life and you live life as planned, you can never exceed your expectations. So I had to read that like four times and it was just like, wow. All right. So think outside the box, do things that make you uncomfortable. Also, we have a discord link. Link for the Discord is in the description, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.